All right, guys. So first round of qualifying, about to go hot. Uh, open, open comp is going first, which is lane one and two, and stick shift is five and six. So they called us about five minutes ago, and there's already a good amount of cars. A lot of new edge Mustangs. We got one Shelby here, pretty neat. And I think we're paired up with that S550. I don't know what it has done, but ready to rock and roll. So first round, uh, the car, it's a new setup. We haven't even done any passes down the track, only some data logs. So we're gonna go ahead and just uh, run the car smooth. Um, we're not gonna use the watt box this time. We're just gonna ride out the clutch. And after that, just we're gonna, still gonna be a full pass, but it's not gonna be on full boost. We're gonna be about on eight pounds of boost. And then we are ramping it in, so it's gonna have a soft launch and everything. We just wanna make sure everything's working, that the car's gonna go straight. Um, there's three rounds of qualifying today. So we have a lot more passes than two tomorrow. So we have a lot of passes dial in the car. We just want to see that it likes it and that it's happy and then we'll turn it up from there. Alright guys, so we're back in the lanes. We didn't get the results we wanted on the first hit, but we didn't have a time in mind. We were kind of just testing the car out. Um, it actually turned off after the A uh, culprit was a fuse. Uh, this is actually a replacement. And then this is gonna be the dual, or I mean the triple pump. It has a ring on it that had some adhesion when we first installed it, but it's not leaking anymore. It doesn't even have any, um, adhesion or anything at all so it all cleared up uh Siley was super nice and gave me the parts he actually even wanted me to wanted to install the new one but it's not leaking so we told him it was fine so yeah uh basically breakdown of the run was after the eighth mile we actually had a fuse that popped it was a 15 amp mini fuse we went ahead and put a 30 so that shouldn't happen again and it was an eight pound eight pound boost pass just for me to get used to it. I haven't driven the car in six months. Uh, you gotta respect the horsepower. You can't go from, from driving a 400, 300 horsepower daily driver stock to 1,000 or 1,100, especially when it's stick shift. You guys gotta keep in mind, once you're shifting and rolling them gears, uh, you only have one hand on the steering wheel, so you gotta be super aware and attentive of what you're doing. But we'll get after it later today. We have two more qualifying passes. I'll keep y'all filled in, thank you. Vendor section. Pretty neat stuff. EPR, Tremec, Line Racing, Sun Coast, VMP. Pretty neat. Puppies. Always love them. All right, we got race car on the right in the grocery getter class. He's about to make a pass. They're just prepping the track. Full weight. 
get it? Best pass 